I just got the key. Oh, you right. sing me on your house. Like, that, does that make you mildly it's nervous? It's a lot of trust. It's a lot of trust. <laughs> You're like, so. you want to do what color? <laughs> so how does it feel to uh, have Valentina <laughs> dragging you into the ground for two days straight? Brass is totally oh, out. Yeah. <laughs> it is gone. I'm like, it's not going back up anytime soon. <laughs> <No>. Sorry. But... <gasps> This garden. This garden. We need this house for this garden. Okay, so I asked for one more, the size of <laughs> that one, and I got this. Oh my God, I can't believe it. Hello, and welcome to the house of Valentina. I'm Valentina, and today we are going to be sharing an epic, extreme kitchen makeover that is so budget friendly and yet so luxurious that I think is going to blow your mind. I know it did mine and my client was absolutely thrilled and it's been so fun to hear even as the days go by how much he is enjoying his space. So it's very rewarding. I think you guys are going to find this makeover super inspiring. I think you're gonna be amazed at how little money we could spend and how much we could do. So if you are a subscriber, we hope that you will hit subscribe and give the video a thumbs up if you love extreme budget-friendly makeovers that still have a beautiful, luxurious, and modern feel to them. So without further ado, let's jump into today's makeover. As you guys know, uh, we run a real estate and design business in the Atlanta area and Dr. Ferris was on the house hunt. He was living in a really dingy, small apartment. It was super cramped. He didn't even want to invite, he actually did not invite me over, <laughs> refused to even let me see where he was living because he said it was too horrible to even let us see it. So I took that as a sign that it was pretty bad. <laughs> the first thing that we needed to do was to find Dr. Ferris a home. So the things that he was really looking for, he wanted to be close to work because he's a physician, he works really long shifts, he didn't want to be driving too far, but he also loves the outdoors, he loves hiking, and he wanted a home that felt that traditional brick kind of feel that's really popular here in the Atlanta area. He's really drawn to that style. So we got to looking and we found the most perfect home for him. It's located on a beautiful lot. It's acres of land behind him and it's owned by the county so they can never build on it. And he loved the brick front of this home. He loved the interior. Even if it was dated, it didn't even matter to him. He just loved the location. He's close to the river here in Atlanta and it was Perfect. So we closed on the house and on that day, I did a little walkthrough so I could show you guys the before. So let's back up there for a second and let me share the before with you. I just got the key. It's a very exciting day. We just closed on my client's home and while he's running off to pick up some furniture to bring back here, I have run over here to get some before photos of the space because we have got a ton of projects to do in this home and I am so excited about getting started and I know that he is as well. So we are gonna have so much fun. We've got the kitchen behind us and we're going to be making over the kitchen and then we'll be working our way around to the breakfast room and to the family room just to get us started. So I'm very excited. It's always like, ooh, got the key in the hand. It's gonna be a great day. While I look at this, I'm gonna let you guys uh, take a peek at the entire space here and maybe I'll even give you a sneak peek of some of the rest of the house that we're gonna be working on. This house is perfection. It is so East Coast, I absolutely love it, and I can't wait to put just a little modern Valentina twist on it. It's gonna be awesome. So, all right, let me get to work. <laughs> All right, well, I've given you a little tour of the entire space just to kind of tempt you and get you excited. As you can tell, there is an echo in this room and that's because there's no furniture in this entire house. I still can't believe just, what was it? About mm, an hour and a half ago, we just got the key for this house. I'm excited because our client uh, also loves to do DIY, so it's gonna be a lot of fun having someone who wants to create and do things and should definitely make things interesting and I'm excited to be able to jump in and share all the fun details, creating a luxurious East Coast vibe and 
a little bit of some modernness thrown in all on a budget. So, all right, I'm gonna go back to my office and get to work drawing up these design boards so we can get started on this furniture. He's moving in any second now. Let's go. One of the things that I love so much about my job is that when I'm with my clients, first of all, so often they become really close friends because we spend so much time daydreaming, not only about the rooms that I think are our priority, like the kitchen. <laughs> but we also talk about the entire house and the dream and how they're gonna live in the house. While I've been busy planning and plotting his kitchen, Dr. Ferris has been thinking more and more about his workout space and what he wants to do with it. He loves to work out and there's an amazing area in the basement that he's gonna get all set up. Ergata is our video sponsor for today and I can, tell you with 100% honesty that we have been absolutely blown away. I've been telling Dr. Ferris for weeks that he has got to get the Ergata rower. My husband, who has always struggled to find something that kept him motivated to work out, has suddenly gone to someone who is working out consistently. I can hear him in the mornings, even in the evenings. He's going down there and he is using his Ergata rower. He loves it. The Ergata Rower comes with a program that has helped him get from beginner to moving up to intermediate and it's he's well on his way to being in the advanced programming. He loves the fact that it's a game-based experience. Here, come sit down with me for a second. Come sit down with me. Just telling everybody how much you have been enjoying your Ergata Rower because I've been telling Dr. Ferris that he should get one as well. And I was telling them it's a game-based experience. I like the aesthetics. It looks amazing. It's so pretty. Yeah. You can store it easily. But you've really been using it. I absolutely love it. I'm a total beginner. I've never rode in my life. And I love it. Like literally it starts you off slow and it gives you these days of rest built in between and low days and big days. And I love it and it's fun because it, it truly does gamify it. And then it ranks you against other people. I have noticed um, your little peck area and- There's been some big changes. It really has, like I feel it more than anything I've ever done before. It doesn't hurt me. And yeah, it's really good for your joints, yeah. which is a really big like, deal. So clearly we are fans. So definitely look down below in the show notes. We'll have a link to the rower and uh, I've got a little code for you and I'll put all the details down below in the show notes for you because we think it's amazing. But clearly we love the fact that uh, Dr. Ferris is excited about his gym. Maybe we'll have more content about that very soon. But in the meantime, let's get back to planning out his kitchen. The number one thing that I wanted to change from the beginning was the color of the walls in the kitchen. We really lucked out with the fact that the cabinets were white, they were in pristine condition, and we didn't have to touch them. That was gonna save us a huge amount of money and of course, an enormous amount of work. So we were gonna leave the cabinets the way they were and paint the walls light. Since the kitchen is an interior kitchen, it can be quite difficult when you don't have a lot of window light coming in, the space can feel a little bit dark and dingy. So I matched actually the color of the cabinet that is White Dove by Benjamin Moore. And I matched it to the cabinet so that it would feel more built in. Dr. Ferris's home had a ton of cabinetry and a lot of doors coming in and out of the space. So there was a lot going Going on and what I wanted to do was just silence all of that. Then I wanted to add a little bit of a punch. Unfortunately, the wood color was beautiful, but it didn't really go with the floors in there and it just felt a little jarring. And even though Dr. Ferris loves wood floors, he very, he very kindly let me uh, go ahead and try to paint it because he was like, mm, I prefer wood and I'm like, just trust me. <laughs> We need to just do this, okay? So we got Stormy Sky by Benjamin Moore. I knew that that accent would be amazing on the island. The next thing we needed to do was change out all the hardware. The hardware was very brass and it just felt dated. It's not a brass that feels very updated. It's not that we're against brass. But in this kitchen, we wanted to add a little bit of edginess. Dr. Ferris is a single doctor. He's living in the city. He wants to have a little bit of that sort of modern life, but he loves traditional elements. So I try to find the balance in all the items throughout. I really lucked out because Dr. Ferris put himself through medical school by actually working in construction. <laughs> I mean, talk about lucking out. To, when you're trying to work on a budget, if you can do the work yourself, you're always going to save yourself a ton of money. Good morning. It is officially makeover day and I am all alone. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't usually do all of this by myself. I've got helpers on the way, but as you can probably tell from the lights being on, it's early and my client, Dr. Ferris, has actually gone to pick up his brand new Tesla. So <laughs> I'm definitely gonna be putting him to work when he gets back. But for now, I'm going to unload the car and get everything ready and start prepping the room for paint. And then of course, we've got all kinds of fun furniture to bring in and accessories. I'm hoping that we can get this done in two days because Dr. Ferris works as a physician and he works long shifts from eight in the morning until eight at night. So we'll either be doing the reveal at night <laughs> on a third day or we'll hopefully be able to make it in two days. As you can tell <laughs> at the moment, the sunroom is uh, awaiting the puppies to come for a visit. Uh, Dr. Ferris is super close to his family, so it's really, really sweet. They've really been enjoying the house, and his sister comes often with her kids and the dogs, and it's just, it's a really fun family house. So I'm really hoping to just capture that sort of feeling in their home, that it will still feel modern and updated, but still very cozy. So I've ordered a ton of hardware from Home Depot, and, I'm a little worried that maybe it's almost too modern for him, but we're gonna make it look good. And I think it's gonna be beautiful when it comes together. And I love to be able to combine modern and classic things. So I have ordered the little knurled handles from, uh, this are from Home Depot. All of this is from Home Depot. You wanna go test them out with me and we'll figure out which one we like better. Yeah, that looks cool. While I'm down here, I'm going to, uh, Start taking off all these brass plates so we can get the paint started in here. So, uh, all right guys, this is the uh, Dr. Ferris. That we, uh, we're doing owner. his house, yeah. yeah. So, are you excited about it's your a, new house? I'm super excited. I've seen a couple of the little changes she's made already, so I'm yes. super excited. And we're expecting a ride in your Tesla. Yep, yep. I told them that the, you were picking that up today. Yep, picked up the performance this morning, so yes. I'm super excited. That's why we're getting a little late start today. Yeah. The blue in this kitchen's going. Um, so long. Are yep, you excited yep, about that? Yeah. Yeah. 90s are gonna go. You're releasing me on your house. Like, that, does that make you mildly it's nervous? It's a lot of trust. It's a lot of trust. <laughs> you know, so. like, you want to do what color? <laughs> Basically, she's sitting there being like, "We're gonna do black everywhere." Just kidding. <laughs> so anything I said after that was gonna be better. So there you go. So yeah. all the brass is gone already. We made some. Yeah. Made some progress. That was well, the I first thing. I had a couple more knobs to go. Yep, so yeah. that's the first progress. I had to run and pick up Landon from school. He apparently got an early release day for a teacher day, so <laughs> it's been a little chaotic today, but we are gonna get it done. We are. We're gonna yes. kill the power for a little bit. We'll change out some some of the new uh, no, there's outlets. there's no we. He. <laughs> I'm gonna kill the power for a bit. <laughs> he is gonna put up the lights and the yep, uh, yep. light this guy, switches. And, this yeah. guy's going. Definitely mm -hmm. hit my head on this at least four or five times. Once we put a table under yep. it, It'll yeah. be easier not to hit yeah. it, but yeah. She's helping me figure out furniture <laughs> because definitely I, I've been living in an empty house. <laughs> I gave him a little pee. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we're gonna get to work. I've got the paint and uh, we're gonna get started. Sounds good. Yeah, cool, right. let's do it. Here, come here. My backup has arrived. Yes. <laughs> she doesn't want you guys to see her. But you are the fan, right? Yes. That's how I met Kevin, was through yes, you. It is. So. it is, yeah. Yeah. Through you, through you from watching your channel years and years ago. I love that. Yeah. yeah. That's so cool. I know. So, so now you're on the channel. <laughs> Yay. And your cute paint outfit. I'm like, oh, I need to up my game here. That's really yeah. cute. <laughs> but the booty You can see all favorite. the little colors. <laughs> I usually like back to the wall. Then, then I'm like, I gotta get rid of the evidence. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. You can see all the different colors I painted. I have another thing for you. Okay. Awesome. And a choice of paintbrushes. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. And we'll it's get busy. Totally doing new work. Now I have to stay like for this way towards the camera the whole time. <laughs> no, that's the best part. Everybody gets it. We all have paint all over us. I'm like, oh shoot. There, I arrived with that. <laughs> So how does it feel to uh, have Valentina <laughs> drag you into the ground for two days straight? 
<laughs> so she left at about 11.30 last night coming home for a soccer game. I still see her car there. I'm like, hello. Yeah. She was working hard. super hard. <laughs> I came home and the place looked great though, especially the under cabinet lighting, making everything look great. Uh, the colors look great. I'm up early morning. I haven't yet fixed up. Sorry. Yeah, look at that. Tried. That that mug right there. <laughs> yeah, he wakes up like this, ladies. <laughs> she caught me like that. So getting some sanding done, knocking the edge off the um, polyurethane, so it'll take a coat of paint. Yeah, we're gonna prime it, give it two coats, and hope for the best. Maybe a poly at the end, but that will have to be later once it's all set. Make it not look like a sore thumb kind of sitting in the middle of the kitchen. I think Make it's it, going to really look good. Yeah, kind of draw It's just it the wrong together. color for in here. That's the main thing. Yeah. If it had been the right color wood, I think we would have left it, but I think it's going to look great. I do too. Kind of yeah. draw everything together and then change some of the knobs and, and be on with it. Yeah. And then you've also switched out handles in the yep. night. <laughs> that was that was a late night. We've been uh, working on, we've got a few of the outlets left to go. Yep, I had two straight days off, so two, two days of work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, you should have known better than to hook up with me, because I'm just going to yeah. work you to death. <laughs> I love it, I love it. And see, I hid the little, uh, the hole in the wall from the Yes, the yeah, that was my intention. See, we haven't had a chance to patch that, so we're just going to make it disappear. <laughs> yep. Behind the scenes. It will get fixed. I, it I will. will fix it. Yeah. Just trust me. So, yeah, and then we have set a few things so I can see what else I need, but that is as much of a sneak peek as you guys are going to get. And we are going to get to work. So, let's see what Valentina picked out. So, Looks pretty good, right? I know, a little I classic, like a little modern. I like it. I like it. I just took the. I like uh, that move. Yeah. I just took that brass thing down, and then halfway through, she's like, I'm having it in my left arm out here. She's like, oh, he's going to film it coming down. I'm like, oh, this thing's kind of heavy. Brass not, is totally yeah. out. Yeah. It is gone. I'm like, it's not going back up anytime soon. No. Sorry, but I think we missed the boat on that one. I think so. That's just a totally different kind of brass. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a copper brass. Yeah, it's mix. antique. So if you're looking for lighting, think about getting the antique brass because here I'll show you guys that. Oh, you can't see. <laughs> no, no, I just I'll block the light. I'm just tormenting you. Nope, there's no. <laughs> Way too much brass. Go for one that looks washed out. <laughs> That's what we've got here. So I'm gonna let him uh, keep going and I'm gonna keep priming that island because. It's already looking better. It is. I'm gonna try not to. I'm gonna jump back up on that ladder. Like okay, I'm gonna film you cleaning this up this time. <laughs> <laughs> We are out foraging and one of my favorite parts about this house, which is why when Kevin and I saw it with his sister Jennifer, we were like, <gasps> this garden, this garden. We need this house for this garden. So it is loaded with all kinds of beautiful, beautiful plants. We've got gardenias and look at the roses are in bloom. Oh yeah. And this is that one that we have at home that's really big actually, but I don't know what it's called. And then some of these, I don't know. I don't know what some of these are. Got so much to choose from. And then, oh, look at this. He needs to get a little thing for that. Look how pretty that is. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, that's gorgeous. I don't think we're gonna decorate with roses today, but this is really pretty. I'm looking for something that's kind of willowy. Have you used my pears? I did use your pears. He picked them out. I did. Oh, yeah, my they look baby great. pears, cute. They are so cute, just like you. That could work. That could work. Maybe too big. Maybe two. Let's go test these out, shall we? Yep. Okay, so I asked for one more, the size of <laughs> that. that one, and I got this. Thank you. 
sweetheart. <laughs> Did you leave any tree out there for the yard? <laughs> There's a stump. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Baby, I don't even know what to do. It's so big. <laughs> I need like this little one over this here. Guy? Yeah, like I think that's no. all I needed. Oh, um, sorry. Do you think we can just put it in water and we'll take throw it home it. for us? I don't want to throw it out. It's a good limb. No, it's a great limb. Okay, then let's put it in water for now and see if we can get it to go home. Okay. Okay. And then this one should hopefully. Sometimes I will thread them through the other ones and that kind of wedges them in there and keeps them in place. So I feel like I'm awkward because I've got an audience watching. <laughs> Why is audience? <laughs> hey, yeah, that's not nice. I think I almost need something smaller. Yeah, I think so. A smaller vessel? A smaller cup, like a smaller opening. Oh, okay. Let me see if I can actually, you're making me nervous filming me. Light. I feel so pressure. The light is like perfect. No, I'm just gonna need. It's not standing up enough. It's like a huge hack. I don't think most guys especially know. I don't. Well, I don't know. Most people don't know. But I yeah. didn't think of it until like when the things don't lay the way the way that I wanted them to. I was like, oh. Well, this would help as I drop a stick into the candle. Look away, people, look away. <laughs> I'm I really wanted it a little to the right. <laughs> Too late? Not now. Too late. Why did you get that artwork? Decenio, actually. Oh, I've seen you Yeah, yeah, they have such good artwork. In less than two days time, we had completely transformed this space. We took it from this outdated blue and brass look that was just very choppy and really just felt like it was stuck in the 90s. So we gave ourselves a blank slate. We took the blue away, we cleaned it up and gave it the white walls that really just helped the space to feel more cohesive and a little modern. This great table from Ikea kept us on a budget, but also balanced the modern chairs with those traditional elements. Same thing with this amazing chandelier that we also found at Hope Depot, kept us on a budget, but blended our styles. I love a hide rug in an area that's a little bit misshapen like this. And of course, we had to have great accessories. The space turned out so warm and so inviting. We really love being, bringing in so many accessories from places like H&M Home, Amazon. We had some artwork from Decenio. The entire space came together with just a few key accessories and even some beautiful greenery from the garden. The kitchen was in sore need of updating as well. We had a couple obstacles. We had angled ceilings. We had doors coming in and out of the space. We had appliances that maybe were not the most updated. And we had an island that was literally a sore thumb <laughs> in the center of the space and all that brass. There was brass everywhere and it just felt tired in here. So we decided to, again, just give ourselves that blank slate, go white on the walls to help it feel more cohesive, paint the island with a nice bold color. Then we updated all of the hardware in the room, hinges, door handles, and all the knobs, added some beautiful furnishing. These are from Amazon and lots of accessories from H&M Home, a couple things from Pottery Barn, and a few Decenio pieces. The space turned out so warm and so inviting and we really enjoyed getting to shoot it actually in the evening right at the end of the day and it's just one of those spaces that the family is just going to really enjoy being cozy and warm and cooking in and hanging out in and that's what we were really hoping for so how do you think we did it's a little weird because you actually helped with it, so there's yeah. not like the, oh my god, I can't believe it! I was gonna say, she's calling it a reveal, and I'm like, I've worked on this for the last two straight days. Yeah. But, but let's go back and think about what it looked like two days ago or yeah. on closing day, and it was probably cool. 
Yeah. Bright blue. It was just too much. Yeah. Even the very first uh, outlet that we changed just to remove. But you changed. <laughs> I love that you yeah. included yeah. me, but yeah. no, that was all you. Good. I painted, you well, changed out the outlets. <laughs> I, did, I did some brass delete. Yes. That's what we'll call it. So we'll yes. do some brass delete. Brass is gone. Yep. A little tiny bit left. But yeah, but we chose the ones that didn't have extra brass in it. Yeah. We had the option of adding it back. Yeah, I was like, no, let's but just yeah. take it out. Yeah. No, I yeah. don't What do you think? Because I know so you much. were a little bit nervous. Like, so, you just kind of handed it over. So I basically <laughs> handed it over. I gave, I gave a couple stipulations. One is, you know, I want it to be somewhat masculine at least. And, yeah. and two is I don't want it to be crazy. And you did say no peak. Yeah. Not and just I said, I, I you specified no peak. No so did. do you feel like, did I nail I it? I love it. I love it. <laughs> I think ultimately I like keeping it really simple, mm. it kept it calm. I like it so much better this way. I think, yeah, I too. I think we nailed it. Yeah. And really we good. gave you like some rustic elements because even know, though you didn't know, ask for I it, I know that you like being at the woods and I know. being outdoors. This area, once I get the pond work in, the fountain working, you'll have yeah. to show that in the next video. Yes, I know. Because there yeah. will be a next video yep. because we're going to like literally go this way <laughs> and keep we're going. Gonna, we're going to go <laughs> clockwise and yes. then we go, we're gonna go we to the backyard yep. and we're going to do And then if I, you know, keep showing up, maybe we'll like do the bedroom or something. The bedroom and then we're going to do the downstairs. So I'm going to put in a, a gym down. Downstairs, we'll change everything. Yeah. There's a real nice 1990s um, cabinet set back yeah. there. Yeah. That, yeah, that's real nice. That needs to go. <laughs> this is me now. Now we need to drag your sister in here, who's done yeah. all the introductions <laughs> and uh, and did some of the painting. Yes. yes. Can we get yes. you in here? Well, yeah. Thank you so much for introducing Definitely. us and. It's just been amazing to get to work with you guys. Like just the whole yeah. family vibe. It's been like really yeah. fun for me. It's been and fun. yeah. It's so thrilling. Like it makes me so happy. And yeah. a plug to Jack that it smells amazing in here. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Here, Jack, get in here for a second. You were here too. Yeah. He was behind the scenes for quite a bit of it, but Yeah. Everybody yeah. was here. The kids yeah. were here. Everybody yeah. Was here, so. I know. I know. Speaking yeah. of the kids, should we uh, go ahead and let them come we in? We should and let them see it. What, do we want to do a little toast first? Oh yeah. I'll grab the toast for you. Okay. Here's your new home? I was going to say to the new home, <laughs> yes. new kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. That was quite a reaction. And every time I think about it, I just get a little bit teary eyed because I know that Dr. Ferris and his sweet sister Jennifer and the entire family have been enjoying the home so much. They keep telling us, sending me texts and pictures and letting me know just how much they're enjoying the new space. And the exciting thing is, is that we are not done. We have one more room to go in the house. Well, we have more rooms. We'll see how many he lets us come back for. <laughs> so I hope you hit subscribe and you'll give the video a big thumbs up because we've got more spaces to do. But the joy of watching this one being transformed and the the way that it just enhanced their lives and their, their pleasure in spending time as a family that is priceless to me so that you enjoyed today's video i hope it gave you a ton of inspiration i hope that it really shows that if you can do a little bit of diy work and a little bit of paint and a little bit of decor you can actually transform a space on a very tight budget and make it look extremely elevated very luxurious and very updated i will leave the links for all the items that i featured in today's video down in the show notes and i think that's all the time we have for today until the next one, cheers, you guys. See you then. Bye. Oh, wow, this looks really good. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Oh. oh, my gosh. gosh. Oh, wow. Oh, oh this looks so it. nice. <laughs> oh, my gosh, this looks so nice. Yes. Well, I feel like I feel like we've gained a friend from you know finding you when you had four thousand subscribers or fewer, and then hopefully the grammar police isn't going to correct me on that. And we found the friend <laughs> in you, and that's so. such it's really awesome. That's so. what's awesome for me too. Yeah, it truly yeah. is. Yeah, it's yeah. really special for me too. Yeah, thank this you guys amazing. for inviting me in to your yeah. family and. Yeah, we love them. Thank you. Yeah, and all of us looking this way is like a plug for the next video. Yes, I love like, it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Let's yeah. move on to that room. I want to see that room over there. Yeah. 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 Oh. I know. So the evil eye. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Everyone like you have to almost, stay tuned and subscribe. Evil laugh. I'm like, I'm probably up to no good. That's coming yeah. out. <laughs> it came out today during the day. <laughs>
<laughs> and a little bit more champagne. No, 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 no. We don't want that version on YouTube. <laughs> Can't get the door for you. Oh well, how gentlemanly. We gotta see the. Well, I'm not gonna the get exterior. the driver's door Look. for you. <laughs> I was just coming to see it, not to drive it. It's got wow. the red calipers. Got wow. The red brakes. So. Yeah. This is awesome. You guys ready to take a Tesla ride? You get it. Woo! Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my god! That's insane. I know.